All right, guys and girls, this is Bag of Soup coming at you with my first round of custom matches since they've come out. I just haven't been playing them yet. I've got a friend from Line Chat, and I said, hey, if y'all are playing all your Japards, um, do you want to uh, run your Japards against my old school mediums just for fun? So uh, he agreed, and then that's what we're going to do. And I uh, give it a try here. And uh, he's got his set of Japards, and I've got my old school mediums. We've tried to get it to about the same level of um, bots and everything, but it's it's hard to do all the time. So this will be interesting. It's CRVs versus CRVs, basically. It is Beacon Rush, so I am expecting him to come right out of that spot right there. So we'll see how this goes. He just jumped back in with Pinatas, which will be nasty for me. Uh, and he's got the Beacon Advantage here, so let's see. Um, his bot is almost to the point where I could take his the whole thing out with just one salvo, so we'll see here what he wants to do around this corner. Oh, he's coming in. Let's just see if I can at least damage him. Well, I can still nail him right here uh, where he's at if I get lucky. And I'm going to have to really use uh, range. He's got all the beacons and everything here, so I'm going to have to just really be extra careful uh, as he fires at me here. Oh, somehow I was only shooting one gun. That was stinky. So, oh man, somehow I missed the last shot. All right, well, I'll use this advantage. He's actually kind of given me a, an option here. Oh man, I was going to use that uh, option to get to uh, center beacon, and I didn't. I killed him first. So let's see if he comes back in, and I will try to corner shoot him if he comes in on that beacon. So we're watching carefully here. Uh, he's already used the CRV pins and pinatas, so anything he does... Huh, that's weird. wonder if he got disconnected or something. Man, we were having a good match up until then. Look at the damage and everything. Pretty equal. Uh, we'll see what happened and see if he wants to try again. What happened, my friend? Uh, it looked like he got kicked out, and that just gave me the win. Like, he didn't want to come back in in time. Maybe if you don't come back in after a certain amount of time. That's probably it. Maybe I was watching your dance moves for too long. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we're going to try it again. That was funny. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do Beacon Rush again, random map, and see what happens. So uh, we had a good match going, equal damage and everything, and then, um, yeah, that didn't work out. Now, th now this guy's got geckos on him, so that could be really, really bad for me on a lot of maps. I'm going to just go ahead and assume he's using geckos first, on a, or molots on a long-range map. So, uh, and I'm in slow mediums, which really doesn't help. So, first thing I'm going to try to do is get to this beacon um, while staying out of line of sight and get to center and try to get under 600 range so I can hit him with um, hydras and spirals. Uh, I know he doesn't have any of those, which will be helpful for me. So, um, yeah, if he, if he gets in close, then that'll be a, a big advantage for me. I don't think he has anything besides Molot's under 500 that he could really hit me with. So, oh, he's using uh, Magnum, so, okay. So, I don't know where he can go that he can actually really hurt me with Magnums. You saw my first volley already took half his health down, so that's good. Let's try and get him out in the open here, see um, what he does with that. <laughs> oh, man, as killer as his geckos are, and we played uh, Springfield, and he just owned me. There was absolutely nothing I could do. Uh, but here in this case, it's it's just the opposite. My uh, spirals are, are just going to be nasty. So, uh, oh man, this is nasty. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. All right. So yeah, he definitely wants to uh, to uh, fight here. Let's see if I can back off of him for a little bit here. <laughs> oh man, that is just cruel. But those magnums he has, those will, those will wear me down quick, so I've got to be real careful. Oh, he's out. He's out. Look at that. He nailed me. I'm just trying to get as much damage in as I can before he hits me here. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to stay back a little bit out of his range. Oh, he's already coming in fast. So I'm going to nail him as quick as I can here. See, I can shoot around splash damage better than he can uh, corners. He still took a good chunk out of me. Uh, and I assume he can come right back in at center beacon, so I've got to be aware of that. Oh, thank goodness he actually came in under range. If you're going to use geckos, he could have come in at a further distance. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking there out of that. But I'm going to try to hit him real quick before he drops out of my 600 range or 500 range. Ready? Anything I can. Oh, because once he gets out of my range, I'm dead here. Yeah, that could be real bad. So let's try to stay where we can hit him here. He's using that cover real nice. I'm going to drop down and get this beacon. And even that out a little bit. Oh, I'm stuck on a wall. And hopefully he will try to stay in 500 range here of me. Oh man, if I don't kill him here, then he's going to have me for lunch. Uh, let's see here, where can I end up uh, that he can't really nail me from? That's going to be a tough call. I'll start a little further back. Hopefully, out oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not good. Yeah, that's going to be a bad issue here. Uh, I wonder if I can, it's even on beacons, so at least I don't have that kind of pressure. Normally you use beacons to make people come to you. I'm trying to see if I can use terrain to make him come to me. I'm trying to stay low. Uh, stay out of his gecko range. And then I'm going to try to sneak up on him and then make a jump for him. And see if I can close it. Yeah! Alright, that could have been really nasty. I had to really um, see what I could do against him. I don't know what he's got left uh, with his uh, firepower here, so I'm kind of staying under the bridge to see what he's got. Could be CRV pins, so yeah, that could be bad. I'm trying to hit him before he hits me here. Oh, I had one shot left when I made that jump. Uh, without reloading, so that wasn't very smart. I think I've got him pretty easily here. Uh, he's got splash, but I've got the jump, which is huge. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna just kind of stick near this beacon. He can come in anywhere he wants to. Uh, I think he's got molot, so that will be a concern. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and get to this beacon quick and turn it uh, before he um, can really do too much damage with those molots. Man, he's gonna chew me up here, so I'm getting out of here as quick as I can. All right, let's go. Okay, at least I turned the beacon. And uh, still should be alive, but uh, hurt. So I've got the advantage on him right now, which is good. And he's got the range on me. We'll just see what he wants to do with it here. He's trying to make the, uh, the crawl here. I'm going to just try to hit him hard before I die. See if I can get that beacon before it turns. Oh, man. Okay, now I'm going to see which way he goes here. Um, which way is he going to run? He's waiting for me. Yeah, I can't hit him, and I'm slow. Look at that. He's using his range nicely. Now, I, what's nice is he doesn't realize is I can, I can get to center beacon at least. So I've got that going for me. But he can just kind of outrun me in those Tapards, and I've got to, um, try to cap beacons um, despite that so okay I'm gonna try to keep all the obstacles in line of sight away from him and just start capping beacons back here and uh, we're gonna do what we did last time is just try to use uh, terrain to come in on him and put the pressure on with beacons so here we go same deal as last time I'm just using terrain here uh, to come at him Let's see what he decides to do here. Yeah, not the best option, buddy. Not the best option. I gotcha, I gotcha. Nice. He didn't have a lot of places he could go other than to duck back behind that hill. Now, I'm closing in because uh, he doesn't have really much anything left that he can hit me with, if he has anything left. So, uh, might as well get under range here. I think everything's gone. That could be it. 
That was scary with the, when he has those geckos and molots out. That is definitely a game changer. So, uh, but pretty close. Look, he out damaged me because um, he's got uh, my my bots have more hit points than his as mediums. But I got the extra kill on him, which was nice. Well, cool. Well, that was a pretty neat one. Uh, we did random map and beacon rush. I think beacon rush really helps to deal with the gecko issue. So uh, that was cool. We we're we we're having fun testing out this um, one on one custom matches. Uh, I know a bunch of the guys are playing all Japard custom matches or Keppards in the um, Japard Uprising room on Line Chat. So if anyone has any questions about that, I can let you know. Uh, I've got, I've, I'm leveling up mine as we speak because there's no real um, bottom weapon level. They're just saying upgrade your stuff as much as you want. So his gecko should be decently nullified. I'm going to go ahead and start with my ROG because I'm going to want speed and jump on this map uh, to get to Beacon. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll figure out what he's in. Yeah, this will be real interesting. I don't know which player would have the advantage. You'd think I would with the um, uh, the ROG for jump and with the Hydras and Spirals. Um, so we'll have to see. It depends what he's got there. If he has CRV pins, you know, I'll get, I'll get nailed by him. Luckily he didn't shoot, so I assume he has his Magnums out. Uh, but yeah, this is fun. I'm really excited for custom match mode. I'm glad there's no um, league point loss or anything like that, rewards or anything, because people could really take advantage of it. I'm glad it's just a fun mode to mess around with any way you want. So, uh, all right, so here he comes. I'm going to go ahead and I could cap center back uh, or ambush him at my spot. I've got a pretty fast bot, so I could really outrun him around the map. He seems to be doing a good job of running, though. I'm going to kind of wait here, see if I can cap this. Oh, he got back in time. Uh, so fine, if he wants that one, I'll go ahead and go to his base and start capping. And then we'll figure out if we want to meet in the middle here. Oh, this is this will be fun here. Okay, so I'm going to need to get to a good corner shooting spot if I want to take him down. When you got plasma versus plasma, it's really going to come down to who corner shoots best. So let's take a look here. Yeah, and I'm a pretty good corner shooter from back in the day, let me just say. Because uh, I had to do this all the time against all those Jepards I would fight. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, pretty used to it. I'm going to reload my, my left gun here. I don't really think he's going to take me on the, uh, on the corner shooting. I, I've been practicing a long time on that. I'm pretty, um, pretty hardcore on, on that. So far so good. I want to get to that beacon and use that for cover also. So we'll see if he lets me. All right, now he may come in right here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, reload. Two versus two on beacons. He can come in anywhere. Let's see what he's got. If he's got pinatas, that gives me a little advantage here. I've got the jump and uh, the range of plasma. So I'm going to use these hills to also block him. He's going to be shooting up at the hills, and I'm going to be shooting over him. So, yeah, he, he may have some trouble with me here. And he does not have anywhere to go for geckos and molots. But my hydras and spirals do, so this will be real interesting. Uh, that could be CRV pins, and those have some big splash, so we'll we'll see what he wants to do with that. Oh, that's right, he's going to outrange me. Okay, well, I'm going to try to stay back a little bit. That's a good choice on this map. Uh, I'll try to close the gap here against him. But yeah, that could be nasty. So I'm going to do a little jump in. That, that took some hits off of him. I'm going to not move in his way until I have a jump ready at every moment. Uh, and let's go ahead and try and recap some beacons back here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. He's, he's outranging me here. Man, this is going to be close. He's trying to, he's trying to get me. He got me some. Alright, let's see if we can close in on him a little bit. Ouch. Let's go ahead and reload. I've got, uh, well, once again, I still have my first bot in. I've got some good speed, so uh, that's helpful. And every, like I said, every time he shoots, I'm going to jump. And uh, see what he wants to do with it here. Nice. That's the best you can do against this kind of situation is just have one jump ready at all times. All right. 
So now I've lost my jump ability. But he should only have geckos and molots left, so that should be helpful. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, what can I do against him here? What do I have? Oh, I know what I've got. Um, I guess I will start here and try to use cover back here. Oh, this is going to be fun. So uh, we'll try this out here. You know, he's using his super awesome weapon. I'm going to use my super awesome weapon to even it out. And I'm going to be real slow around the map. So if he was smart, he would use this time. He can't beat me on bots. I'm only into my second bot here. And that may be his fourth. So if he was smart, he would use his time to uh, go cap beacons. But what I will do, and I should have been doing this whole time, is using my range like this. I don't know what I was thinking. I can just lock on to him and try to take him out before he gets out of 600 range. I should have been doing that the whole way. Uh, and so while he caps beacons, I'm just going to uh, be whittling him down here. So this is uh, kind of an ideal map for me, whereas he owned me on Springfield earlier badly with his geckos. It was nasty. I'm going to try to angle my hydras around the wall that he's hiding behind. And once again, uh, try to recap some beacons along the way. Um, if he tries to get that one, I'll just try to turn this one to equal it out before he can get to both and put the pressure on him still. Good, good, that is nice. Okay, get that last little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to stick near this beacon so he can't get it, but oh, I'd love to fire around that wall and hit him. Uh, let's see, yeah, he can't, I could just sit here and win. He can't really get that beacon from me. Let's see if he decides to go. <coughs> let's see. Well, he's, he's making a move. Let's see what he wants to do with it here. <laughs> and if he tries to go back to that beacon, I'm going to stay right near it so he can't. So I'm just hang, kind of hanging out here. Man, he's going to make this tricky. Trying to hit from side to side on him, different angles to see what it'll take. <laughs> oh wow, he's got one shot left. Um, he's trying to recap the beacons. That will be an issue, but I can just drop back into home spawn, and um, if I had to, I think that's it right there, though. All right, let's see here. Let's, like I said, it's just a matter of hitting him at different angles. Okay, I'm going to watch behind me. He could appear at any red beacon. Okay. And he's probably got Molots left, so I'll think about that. And we'll just start to whittle him down. What a match, man. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, Geckos. Ironically, he killed my first bot with his Geckos finally, so it did work, but it's probably not the best match for um, those, uh, those uh, setups here. Now, if he tries to face me head on, the Zeus is just going to obliterate him, so he doesn't want to do that. So let's see what he decides to do here. Good luck, buddy. This will be nasty. Yeah, my spirals and rockets won't do much through that hallway, but the Zeus will. So we'll try and just nail him with that and then take cover. Alright. And once again, that Zeus is sick. Sick. One more shot and he's toasted. Should I do it? Should I put him out of the misery here? All right, had to do it. I think that's it. Uh, man, look at the beacon bar. That was a really close and good match there. I liked that. So custom match mode, definitely a uh, another win for Pixonic as far as uh, um, modes. We have domination mode. We've got beacon rush mode. Both are fun for different reasons. And custom match mode now has been fun, and we're waiting for team deathmatch. So they may have some other problems in the game. Look at the beacons there, 8 versus 9. Uh, they may have some other issues in the game they're dealing with right now, um, some of the bots and prices, but uh, the new uh, modes and things like that have been pretty awesome, so I can say that for them. So that was fun, at least for me. I don't know if he liked that one. Man, close match on beacons. Yeah, he, he uh, used his uh, Geppards for uh, speed there to try and get around the map. That was cool. That was definitely um, better for me 
with the ROG and the um, Hydra Spirals, for sure. So I had the advantage there. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, just a good way to make friends. You know, join up on Facebook, join up to your clan, um, pilot ID. You can do it all sorts of different ways, um, and uh, meet up with players. And uh, so I like that a lot. Um, it took me, you know, several weeks now to um, to finally try it out, but I'm glad I did. I'm looking forward to, to more uh, Jep Wars and clan versus clan matches um, coming up. So. All right, well, that is it. Uh, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. I'd like to hear your comments about custom match mode, if you've tried it, what you've been using it for, uh, all sorts of different things. Obviously, you can use it for to train up new members, play with your kids or, or family members, um, play clan versus clan matches, do um, exploration around the map, settle grudges, all sorts of fun things. So... Uh, I'd like to hear how you're using it. If you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, please uh, join us. Uh, that's it. This is Bag of Soup, and I hope you have a great War Robots day.